Governor Nathan Deal signed a new bill today that widens medical marijuana treatment. The governor signed about 40 bills into law and vetoed nine others just hours before the deadline. Channel 2's Richard Elliott live at the Capitol, where you learn that there could be a push next year to legalize cultivation in Georgia. Remember, it is legal to treat certain disorders with medical cannabis oil in Georgia. However, it is still illegal to bring it into the state, which makes no sense to many parents who use it to treat their children. So they are planning to push the legislature to make it legal next year. This is video of Governor Nathan Deal in Macon Tuesday morning signing one of more than 40 bills into law. But he also vetoed nine bills, including one that would have allowed PAs or physicians' assistants to prescribe hydrocodone. The governor thought that out of step with the state's attempt to curb the opioid crisis. And a bill to create a new statewide 911 authority. He says he'll sign an executive order to create a similar agency himself under GEMA Homeland Security. But he did sign the so called medical marijuana bill into law. I mean, this is really everyone's victory today. We were there as Dale Jackson got the pen Governor Deal used to sign the medical marijuana bill into law. He admitted he's been treating his autistic son Colin illegally with medical cannabis oil for more than a year, but this new law will let him do it legally. He is his cognitive ability is still improving every single day. His level of communication uh, is still improving every single day, and we're. We couldn't be happier. But Jackson says his fight isn't over. While it is legal to treat certain disorders with medical cannabis oil, it is still illegal to bring it into Georgia, which means parents must either still break the law to get it to their children or move. Jackson says he'll work to get a law making cultivation of medical marijuana legal in Georgia. So until we can pass a uh, a real cultivation program here in Georgia, there's going there's a gaping hole, and uh, we will be back at the legislature next year. In efforts to, to do that. Now, that could be tough as some lawmakers expressed concerns over allowing a state institution like a university to grow, to grow marijuana even for medical purposes. We're live in downtown Atlanta, Richard Elliott, Channel 2 Action News.